to show you how layer styles work I'll just get on with it and uh, show you uh, the buttons you need to press so what I'm going to do is um, most layer styles are some sort of shadow or glow and they're usually best applied to text it's not that they have to always be you know, um, applied to text they can be apl applied to objects but for the instance of showing you exactly how they work I'm going to create some text so uh, here's our image again, the Marin Delphine image and I want to um, create some text so I'm going to go to the uh, tools which is um, down the side here, down on the left hand side and then um, I'm going to hit the text tool so I want to kind of create quite a big font um, you'll use a big font um, and uh, so anyway so let's just click anywhere on the background and um, and uh, write some text okay so I've made some text now um, as you can see up here it's it's um, I've got it set to center justify and um, I don't really want it to do that so I'm going to click that back to um, the uh, left justified um, it's a little bit too big so okay so this is 30 points um, I'm just going to move it so I'm going to go back to the, uh, the regular tool um, let's see what it's called and the move tool and I'm going to just move that layer just to put it a bit more centered so it's not being cropped okay so there's our text now um, it doesn't really matter what colour um, you've made the text, but um, it's preferable to have a like, kind of a light colour. Um, so to add a drop shadow um, using um, uh, layer styles, we're going to go down to our palette, which is here, and uh, select the um, the actual text layer, which is this one here. So I'm going to select that, so um, that will be highlighted, and then go down to this FX button. If I click and hold, these are all the blend. Or these are all the the uh, layer styles I can actually choose from: Got drop shadow, inner shadow, glow, um, and various other effects. Um, so yeah, I'm going to add a drop shadow to this to demonstrate. So I'm going to click on drop shadow. And if you see, um, maybe I'll zoom in a little bit just to kind of emphasise. You can already see that it's actually got a slight drop shadow um, on it. Um, up will pop this dialog box which will give you more options um, you've got like the distance away the drop shadow is away you've got the spread which is like kind of uh, how sharp the, the uh, drop shadow is and we've also got the size you can sort of make it quite a bit bigger and if I zoom back out again you might be able to see the, oh, the full effect um, and all these things have you know various, um, con you know various uh, things that they control um, to give you the, you know, the scope to kind of um, find exactly the style you want. Okay, so I'm going to go for something that's kind of pretty conventional, um, just to, just to kind of punch it out from the background, just to stand out. Um, I tend not to use this, these effects very much, but um, but there is a, an instance where you do need some drop shadow. This is a really good way of doing it. I'm going to hit OK. And as you can see in my layers palette now, um, it's added this um, layer effect, a uh, layer style, and it's under this uh, effects heading here. Now I can turn that on and off at will. And if I had more than one applied to this layer, I could actually turn them on and off individually with this eye button. Um, and that's about it for layer styles.